Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bon Bon B and you're very, very welcome. Well, so far this week we have had one really good map. One map that fell just a little bit short in pretty much all ways, but it wasn't it wasn't horrendous. Today's map, well, it's going to be good for gameplay. And if you like fantasy maps that need a little bit of polish, then this could be the map for you if you don't mind cleaning things up as you're going along. It's not bad at all, actually. And if you like things that are not too bad, then maybe, maybe you should like today's show, maybe. That's right, hitting the like button really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. So thank you for your support. Today's map is the Northern Province by Double V. Now we did do Double V fairly recently. Uh, it was a three star map that got four stars for gameplay. Uh, was lacking a little bit on the detailing as well. There's your start square. It looks good. And I promise you the water flow coming out of that river is plenty strong enough. Uh, the resources are in blocks. It'll take you a while to get to the oil and the fertile land, but they are there and they are reachable. And then if we go to the workshop, now it is a mass transit DLC map. So you will need mass transit for this one, but you probably should have it anyway, I'd suggest. There's a whole bunch of things there to subscribe to, but not the world's biggest list. And it all does add to the detail, of course. We'll be using the uh, Rhinestone Island version 1.0.5 theme and the vanilla temperate LUT and uh, 50 hours are spent on this map and you know what it kind of looks like it there's lots gone into this one there really has now we're going to start off with uh, a Mr Miyagi special now if you follow the show and you follow Mr Miyagi you'll know that he likes to bypass the traffic away from the city build area and that's what we've got here a fairly unrealistic tunnel that cuts right through an entire mountain range all the way over here it emerges over here and this is going to keep the traffic the in and out of the map traffic away from your main city build now if anything this is something that i should have uh, known when i made merrick stone my first map about oh that was a couple well, getting on for a couple of years ago now and uh, i had all of the traffic running through the start square and that was going to always lead to trouble i should have known better but i learned i learned from that one a little bit of jinky janky going on there but not the world's worst easily easily driven past actually without even noticing and then we've got a little bridge going on here that's kind of okay a little little bit unattractive but it's okay so yes uh, taking the traffic right away this is all connected up but um no traffic coming down here because it doesn't need to now custom bridge time here and there's something about this bridge that i think is either a little bit lucky or a little bit clever I'm not sure which. We might have to wiggle the camera around to get it to work properly. You see this palm tree goes under that girder there and then it goes up and through these two girders here or well, the girders just glitched in around it. Hang on, if we just give that a wiggle. There you go, it's free. So it goes right the way through there. So under, over, under and if we pull back this way, over. Look at that, that is really quite clever. Uh, <laughs> or lucky probably lucky I imagine um, and then the foliage I don't mind the foliage glitching in and through it because the foliage is more likely to do that than than some sort of wood anyways anyways I like that I don't know if it was planned or intended I suspect it wasn't but it came out okay <laughs> we've got a nice little bridge here everything about this bridge I like it's good height it's good slopes everything works well with me for that one this intersection reminds me of the Olympic rings and uh, there's one thing I really don't like about this, and that is the six lane roundabout. That's possibly five lanes too many. <laughs> possibly. I might even say two lanes too many. Three lanes too many even. But uh, yes, it's, it's definitely too many lanes too many. <laughs> Ouch. But uh, it's aesthetically, it's, it's striking. We'll give it that. And I reckon that was plopped from the workshop. Uh, now down here we've got uh, we've seen the custom bridge now we've got vanilla bridge just want to show you this tree in the middle it is glitching through and i don't i normally say don't mind the foliage glitching through but you can see the way it's glitching through it that just looks a bit wrong there and then this bridge looks all good until you notice uh, this the suspension on this end is falling short um i'm 
the easiest way to do this would be to bulldoze and rebuild but you know it needs to stretch out to about that area there i can't really get that to work using move it because the nodes are kind of overlapping each other but you know what i mean you know what i mean anyway that that's just a, a minor error probably possible oversight there anyway now down here i want to show you this okay so first of all this wiggly intersection here but notice the tunnels the tunnels are perfect okay okay we're not using network extensions too so you can't see through them but they are perfect perfect slopes and ramps and this is a, a short intersection tunnel just remember that for later on we've got a perfect suspension bridge there i really like that one that's good work it's almost like somebody's been watching a tutorial <laughs> uh, who does tutorials on, on perfect bridges i had no idea and then down here now this one this is this is another intersection that i feel could do a little bit of tweaking first of all we've got these ramps that go into this roundabout we've got some foliage on the roundabout as well but it's the ramps see the way that this ramp goes up then drives along and then comes back down the ground again that ramp on one of the opposite side and matching on the other side they could have all stayed at ground level i feel they don't really need to elevate it's just um I think it's just a little bit as a stretch too far you know uh this goes off that way we'll go that way in a minute i need to go down this way because this is the start square right here we need to come this way for this and again don't mind those ramps and i don't mind the roundabout detailing at all that's quite good especially for a start square roundabout just enough and then down here we have got something we need to look at guess what yes it's the asset review for today now this one, I don't know if it's tied in specifically with the Campus DLC, that is, um, I, it must be out by now, <laughs> must be out by now, recording this in advance, don't tell anybody. It's the Church History Library by Derek with a C, four. <laughs> oh, Derek, good for you, my friend. Let's do a, a factoid because, factoids, um, because the literal translation of Greece means fat in Spanish, Promoters changed their minds about using it. Instead, the movie Grease appeared in Venezuela as Vaseline. <laughs> Vaseline is the word, it's got mood, it's got meaning. <laughs> it means something completely different over here, I promise you that. <laughs> Church History Library by Derek for. <laughs> Have you got the Vaseline ready? Let's not go down that path, shall we? <laughs> Sandy, baby, <laughs> you got the Vaseline. Oh, sorry, I've gone. <laughs> I've lost it. Uh, well, well, we, we were going. <laughs> it's a family show. It's a, clearly a family show. Where were we? <laughs> How many of you watch this with your families? Be honest. <laughs> oh, there you go. This one's a, an interesting intersection, to say the least. Um, I don't know what to say about it, really, apart from it's a little bit clanky. In fact, Pretty much everything down this stretch you're about to see is a bit clanky. Right down here, we've got a custom bridge. At this end, it's not quite perfectly aligned. I'm gonna be honest with you, aligning these accurately is so difficult. We're not even gonna talk about the street lamps, okay? We're not, we, we, we're just not gonna go there because that's, it's a tricky thing. It's a tricky, tricky thing. But over here, this side of the bridge is kind of, it's kind of good, kind of like aligned nicely. But yeah, it's very difficult to get something this size perfectly aligned with the roads. And I know you're going to say move it alignment tool. Yes, you can say that. But I'm having trouble getting it to work at the moment. I don't know if there's anything wrong with the mod. Um, but anyway, anyway, now down here, as we come down here, we've got an immediate separation because we've got to get the roads apart from each other for reasons. Right now. <laughs> anyway, down here, we've got uh, tunnels. And again, look, perfect tunnels. Remember these? Perfect tunnels coming out that side as well. No grumbles there. But yeah, this stretch of the map is a little bit clanky, right? Which it starts around about now. Look at the tunnels here. They're dipping down. They're dipping down and in. And then um, everything else. Oh, here we've got a real uh, awkward glitching of the terrain around the tunnel exit. And then down here. Now we're going elevated here. We've got some weird stuff going on here. I don't mind the elevation, but now we're elevated at ground level. And that seems a bit awkward as well. Awkward. 
um, bridge is stretched out quite heavily as well and then we've got it again elevated a little bit too far across that ground level there too and if we come down to the next oh look another intersection and again the ground just drops away um, it's not the worst case I guess this is going to be like a little town build but uh, it still drops away and again uh, elevated a little bit too soon and the suspensions go that is heavily stretched heavily heavily stretched and uh, once again elevated the ground level at this end now back to where we started from we'll have a little look at the rail we're not going to follow every path that the rail takes because we haven't got all day and we're already 10 minutes into the show <laughs> already blimey uh yeah we come down here over the river and then we take a sharp right hand now i know this is a fantasy map where we can suspend a little bit of disbelief but i'm still not happy i don't mind that as a junction but a right hand turn on a straightforward line is a bit much going into a magic tunnel which emerges over here and then we're going to go elevated across it now we're going to gouge mode a little bit and this is a little bit too steep but because it's a fantasy map and it's not horrendously steep i think we can suspend a little bit of disbelief up here but i'm more i'm more bothered by the way it's being gouged through the mountains rather than the way that it's actually rising and falling and then if we take a little left here we come down into a build location and you know what apart from a little bit of blue mantle underneath on the opposite side there come to the other side of the bridge i think it's about time for that intermission Whew, it's hard work this you know do your bridges look like the games ai has gone on holiday would you like vanilla bridges to be proud of then you need the beginner's guide to perfect bridges by bon bon b Click the information button below. I had no idea that the bridge tutorial video was coming up today. I had not planned that at all. Anyway, um, we've got a loop into this uh, harbour here. We've rather it had gone straight on and just had a little cul-de-sac, um, you know, a short, a short dead end in there would have been better. And come over here. And we've got something similar going on down here. This is a loop around. Goes under the bridges, which are perfectly high enough, which is good to see. And also the water looks a little bit deeper on the routes that is taken, which is also good to see. We come around here, and again, instead of going straight off the edge of the map, we've got a loop in and around on these islands, which I feel is just a little bit too much. And as you can see, we do have an air route, so that is bonus points. Water flow, it's uh, fantasy water flow, okay? <laughs> so just, it's, uh, it's, it's there, it's fun, it works. That's your start square, by the way. I told you there's plenty of water flow coming out of the river into the start square location. That definitely works. And overall, let's have a look. That is your 25 tiles right there. Most of your 25 tiles is buildable area, which is great. I think that's amazing. Well, buildable area or water features, which is also interesting. Um, having said that, let's go and have a look at the area that isn't in the 25 tiles, shall we? Shall we head inland and just have a look at this water? Why not? Why not? It's been built. They've spent hours making this. I mean, 50 hours making this. So it's about time we gave it a little bit of an eyeball check. And I don't mind these S's. They're great. But uh, the realism be damned. But it's fantasy map. Like that water source up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why not? <laughs> We follow this one up. We've got some nice waterfalls going on here. Um, the, the terrain needs a little bit of polish. I did say polish, didn't I? Here, this I'm not happy with. I'm very rarely happy with this. Your water source up here is coming down and then it's splitting two ways down the mountain. And uh, why not? Why not over here where it's going off the edge of the map? I don't mind there being a river there, by the way. I really don't. But we could have just had a few dotted water sources on the inside of these hills and just had it as a separate system altogether rather than one being forced to split two ways, which just looks a bit too odd to me. Uh, the rivers then go out into all different locations. Like over here, I quite like this one. This is quite a nice feel to it. All the mangrove trees feels very wet and lush. And then over here, this one just feels like it's been gouged out with a gouge tool um yeah one or two drowned trees but they 
dead mangrove trees. They don't mind being drowned. Here, look at this. How deep you reckon that is? 20 meters? Yeah, it's uh, mangrove trees. I'm going to get much water 20 meters elevated in the air, are they? So yeah, there's um, there are some rivers which are great and others less so. We do have some beaches as well. Actually, speaking of beaches, there are some islands. We haven't found a decent Bonbon Island for a while. Oh, by the way, yes, I'm loving this. Um, once again, could do a little bit more polish, but I'm loving the underwater work as well. And all of that just feels really quite nice indeed. Look at that, really nice. Let's go and find a Bonbon Island. I haven't found one, and this, this map's got to have one. It really has got to have one. This isn't too bad. A bit too close to the mainland, I think. Um, not too happy about the ridge on that one. Wouldn't want to live there. Uh, your chance to vote on this map? Is it a one-star map? Is it a five-star map? Is it somewhere in between? Your vote really does count. This one's okay. I'd like a beach, though. Um, your vote really does count. We use it at the end of the month for the viewer's choice top 10. Will this be one of the top 10 maps of the month? Only you can decide. Awesome. Over here. Over here. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Let's skip that one because there's a beach on the other one. Look at that beach. I like this. Yes, this. This is it. This is Bonbon Island. Yes. I'm going to live here. Quite happy to live here. Um, and if you want to set up a... Um, a tin can and string uh, telephone system across to the island on the left, then maybe you can move in on the one over on the left and we can sort of like have these tin can and string conversations. That would be great. Do you not think? I think so, yes. So anyway, yeah, we've got a Bonbon Island and um, whoever you are, island there, that's your island if you want to build on this map. Let's find a, um, let's find a place to settle down. Yes, so yes, it is your chance to vote on the map. Is it a one-star map? Is it a five-star map? Is it somewhere in between? You can get your votes in now while I ponder. Ponder? What rating to give this one? This is a tricky one for me. I think about here. Thumbnail. Snap. Got it. Lovely. Okay. It's uh, aesthetically, it's okay. It's okay. I think the overall design is actually pretty good. Needs some polish. But what I'm going to do is I'm, I think I'm going to credit the design on it and I'm going to give it the fourth star. It's a low four, but I think it deserves a fourth star. Detailing. Some of it is quite nice. The whole map needs a bit of a polish and there are some areas that are a bit glitchy. I think overall, I'm going to give it a low three. I don't think it deserves to drop to a two. Low three. Gameplay potential is very playable. Um, the polish that you're going to need to apply as you're going along almost takes it down to three star territory. But I think there's plenty of uh, build plane. There's no problems with anything. The traffic is a bonus as well. So I'm going to give that four stars. The Northern Province by Double V. A bit more polish. A bit more polish. And this is a seal of approval map. But it isn't. So there we go. Oh, thank you very much for watching, for commenting, for liking and for subscribing and to all my bonbon bon buddies over on Patreon who've supported me through thin and thin. <laughs> Feel free to join me over there. Just a dollar a month will get you in on the uh, on the, the Friday map vote and get your name in the credits for next month. Uh, there's not a map on screen now if you want to have a little vote on that one. And I'll just put a bonus video up on screen now if you want to go and have a little look at that. And I'll see you tomorrow for another map in the WhatsApp series.